cause of another fire last week in an apartment balcony. It started with an electric or e-bike that exploded right in front of its owner. Kate Adak now with a cautionary tale for anyone who plugs in their bike to charge overnight. It just went oof. Kyle Andrews never expected this scene outside of his apartment, nor what he saw inside. Flames that could have spread, all caused, he says, by his electric bike. It had been charging in the apartment and began leaking. I noticed a fluid under the bike, opened the doors and windows to vent the apartment, called the fire department. <laughs> he quickly put the bike on the balcony. And as I opened the door, it exploded in front of me. And I came to just over here to get my fire extinguisher, and when I turned over my head, it looked like I was staring into the sun. The fire took what matters most to him. Yeah, I know they're just things, and I won't forget them, but they're, they're gone. This is what's left of the bike. Andrews bought it here just a few months ago, an Urban 2.0 with a lithium battery. The store owner says they've sold about 20 and haven't had other complaints. And lithium battery, but in the States, a fire in Oregon was linked to a similar problem just a few months ago. Captain Stephen Powell of Toronto Fire Services has heard of lithium batteries catching fire, but says the problem can be the age of the battery, its condition, or using the wrong charger. Any battery charged inappropriately uh, can catch fire. Andrew believed the charger he had was compatible with his bike, but admits he didn't buy a new charger when he bought it. Now he's assessing the cost. I just lost my soul in a moment. The owner of Emmo, the store that sold Andrews the bike, says they always tell customers to buy a new charger when they're buying a new bike. The owner also said they were shocked to learn about this fire. Kate Adak, CBC News, Toronto.